In this lecture, I'm going to show you the technique to insert data in the database table. I'm going to show you the way you can insert data using a PHP class. Many times, inserting data into tables seems complicated because every time you need to create an insert statement, select the columns, then specify values, and so on. Let me show you a very simple and very best technique to insert data in the database. So I'm going to start with the class keyword, then specify the class name, insert data. You can specify any name to this class that's upon you. Then I'm going to extend the controller. As you know, in this class, I have the connection property. In the previous lectures, we understand how to create this class. In this class, I'm going to create a new method. So I'm going to start with the public keyword, specify function and specify the name of the method. I'm going to specify insert into and create a method. And to this method, I'm going to specify parameter. The first parameter is the required parameter to this method. So I'm going to specify null value to this parameter. And then I'm going to create another parameter table and I'm going to specify default value to it user. If you have different name to your database table, you can specify that table name here. By default, I'm going to specify this user table name to this variable. Now in this method, I'm going to create if statement and here I'm going to check if the connection property is not equal to null. If the connection is not equal to null, then I'm going to create here if statement and here I'm going to just check this required parameter. So if this required parameter is not equal to null, then I'm going to execute this if statement. Now in this if statement, I'm going to get the table columns. I'm going to simply create here a variable columns. I'm going to specify implode function to it. We already know how we can use this implode function in the previous lectures. So I'm going to use this function to separate the array keys using this comma. And I'm going to pass this argument to this array key parameter. Now let's take a look at first the database table. As you can see, I have the DB name database. And in this database, I have user table. In this user table, I have three columns, ID, then I'm going to have name and phone number. So I'm going to simply create an array so we can pass it to this method. So I'm going to create here array. So I'm going to create a variable values is equal to array. And in this array, I'm going to specify key name and specify value to this key. Then I'm going to create key pH number and specify value to it. Now you need to keep in mind the key of this array is exactly match to this column name. So as you can notice, this name and this pH number column name is exactly matched to this key. So we can use this key as a column when we insert data using insert into SQL command. So I'm going to just get these keys using this implode function and store it in this variable columns. Now when I print this variable, I'm going to have the result something like this. I'm going to have name, comma, pH number. Now just out of that, I'm going to get these values using this implode function. So down here, I'm going to create a variable values and I'm going to just specify implode function to it and specify separator comma and then I'm going to pass array values to get these values from this array. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to pass this parameter. Now, when I try to print this variable, it's going to return a result something like this. I'm going to have both these values as a result. Now, let me just create insert into command to insert this data in the table. So I'm going to create here a variable SQL and I'm going to pass s printf function to it. To the first parameter, I'm going to pass insert into table name. So I'm going to pass here string variable and then I'm going to pass parenthesis and pass a string variable again and then say values and then pass parenthesis and specify string variable. Now just out of that, I'm going to specify comma and pass table variable. So I'm going to have this value at this position and then I'm going to specify comma and pass columns. So I'm going to have this value right here in this parenthesis and the last I'm going to specify values as a third variable so I'm going to have these values here so I'm going to have both these values in this parenthesis now when I try to print this statement it's going to return the result something like this this data is not going to insert it in the table because I don't have single code or double code to these values to these values right here I'm going to pass single code just like this so I'm going to pass double code and inside it I have this single code and then I'm going to specify a single code here as well. And the last, I'm going to just add this single code right here. So when you try to print this statement, it's going to return the result something like this. And when you execute this query, you're going to have both this data in the database. So to execute this query, I'm going to create here result variable and specify this, call the connection property, then call a query method. And in this query, you need to pass your query string. 
if I have result in this result variable, I'm going to just echo data successfully inserted. So now when you call this method, you're going to have this data in your database table. You need to first create an object of this method and call insert into method. And to the parameter, you need to specify this array. When you execute this statement, it's going to insert this data in the database. Now we're not limited to only insert data in the user table. You can specify your own table name here and insert the data in different tables. If you have multiple columns to your database table, you can create multiple keys and values to insert values in the database. Practice with this code and understand how this code works. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.